again? Yeah. Good job. So we're visiting Dan Lander's pumpkin patch where I worked as a kid and it's our favorite pumpkin patch. Whoa, what did you find, Connor? Oh, so cute. He found his perfect pumpkin. So he's gonna roll it all the way over. All the way, he's on the other side of the pumpkin patch from us. Is that the one you wanted? Yes. You looked all over and that's the pumpkin you want? Yeah, it has one. It was just right on the pathway. It looks great. It's a good looking pumpkin. Okay. Let's go. getting the Instapot ready. So I put one cup of water and then I'm gonna see if the pumpkin will just fit right in there. My pumpkin is a little bit too big to fit into my pressure cooker. So I'm going to cut it up first. I got it all washed. I'm gonna cut it and take out the insides and put them in the pressure cooker. You can get the smaller pumpkin pie pumpkins. Um, they fit right in your pressure cooker. This is just a little bit bigger one I kind of like. Um, doing it that way, you get more bang for your buck when you're paying for them. And they work just fine. They're not quite as sweet, but like I said, we use mostly use a puree for muffins, which have plenty of sugar in them anyways. So here we go. I got part of the pumpkin in this spot. It actually did not all fit, so I'm gonna go ahead and do two batches. 
Um, and see I have that wire thing down there, one cup of water and then the pumpkin. And we'll put on the lid. Make sure it's not on venting. And then we're going to use the manual mode for 13 minutes. So, the timer went off, and we let it cool down, and there we have it. Cooked. So I'll let it cool off a little bit, and see how soft it is. Super soft. So, we'll just take the skins off and then blend it up. So here is the pumpkin pieces all in there and I'm going to put them in the blender and blend them up. The coloring is not great on this camera but um, you can see that the flesh will definitely be lighter than um, like canned pumpkin is um, but it works just the same, just a diff little bit different color. pureed said it's a little bit or quite a bit lighter than you would see like in a store it's more of a yellow orange um, but I'm just gonna put this in a bowl and then put it in the fridge for um, until it's chilled and I have the rest done because I have another half of the pumpkin to cook still and then I will bag it and freeze it um, as you can see I mean I should have measured that but this um, bigger pumpkin makes a lot more than you would get out of a small pumpkin so it's another reason I like the big pumpkins. Now here it is, all of the pumpkin from that one pumpkin all blended up into puree. So I'll go ahead and put this into bags. Um, I like to put it in one cup bags in the freezer and freeze it um, up to six months. So um, I don't know how many cups that is, probably like six, we'll see. All right, so I put the puree into little bags, um, sandwich bags, and um, when I need to use them, I just pull one out. So like right now, I'm gonna make some muffins. So I'll just dump this in. 